Welcome to day one of the Classic Roundup. What a fantastic day it's been here with Warwick Lawrence to go through today's proceedings. So Warwick, you've been, you've had some runs today. Um, the cattle, the competition, the venue. How, how has it been to other years? Yeah, Brett. Like it's a, it, you know, again, as you just said, it's, a, it's an amazing event. Um, it's just put what I call the, you know, the horse sale and horse industry into a huge, a huge thing. Everyone wants to be part of this. You know, uh, I, I, I had a run today there. And it, in the open on, on a mare that was, I, we actually found and I bought out of here um, and, and we, we were lucky enough to get a good cow and um, we've got to run on the board and um, we just have to wait and see what happens to, um, tomorrow in, in, you know, when the second round's on and um, yeah but it's, it's just a great venue and a great venue and a, and a great concept that everyone wants to be part of. You touched on something there, uh, horse yourself and Fiona bought out of, out of the classic a few years ago, and, th and that horse is by, goes by the name of Peel Vale Jade. Yes. We've just gone through the top ten on the leaderboard with Camp Draft Central, and, and it's amazing how many horses have been purchased through the concept since it started, to not only going through nutrient-aged events, but then they've gone through, they could be in the Masters. Yes. Now they're in open competition. And that, that being the open camp draft there this morning. So, on 90 points, we've got Hells Are Coming. Yep. A mare that was purchased in, in 2018, Terry Snow, with, a, with the organisation you're with, $45,000 mare, came back in 2019, won the Masters. Yep, that's right, yes. And here she is today with 90 points on the board. Yeah, and and you know, so you know, again, it's you know the the, the quality of horses that are coming through the sale, and, and that's a, a great example. That mare, you know, she's um, won won the Masters. She's gone on and won won three Open Drafts, won Novice Horse of the Year, ABC Ray Novice Horse of the Year. Um, you know, we're excited about her because you know, to me, she she's got the, she's getting the runs on the board. She's going to be. A real good thing come breeding time, you know, like to, to breed out of it. It's just, and that's and that's what Willinger Park's looking for. And I, and I think, you know, <clears throat> throughout the sale, there is the people who want to be involved in 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 the sale in the draft. But then there is people who are coming here to try and buy the genetics to go on. Absolutely. So we've just seen two outstanding runs of Zane Haberman on his two mares out of the one mare. Yep. The, the mother has obviously produced some freaks in the, in the camp draft game. What were the, the outstanding parts of the runs that, uh, that really took your eye? Yeah, to me, you know, like I never seen them, I never seen them um, in full life. I've, I've, I've seen, re, they've just replayed them. And, and to, to me, you can see, you know, the mares just want to get up there and they want to get one cut out. Um, and, you know, the first mare, you know, that beast took him on and he got back down the camp a little, but. But wherever wherever Zane one of them horses, they were there. And then when they ran outside, they were both fast. The second one was probably faster than the first one. But there was times around the second peg and going to the gate, he picked them mares up and 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 they they just checked for him. And there was no shake of the head or throw the head up. And um, you know, to me, that's horse work. Yeah. And and that's you know that's what we're trying to train. How important was that block on the left-hand side on the first run yep. to, to set his run up to go forward to, to end up having two in equal lead yeah. from there? Yeah, well, exactly. Like you know, to, for the mayor to have the heart to get back there to start with, but then but then you're going you're going back and then to be able to check like and get stopped and turn around and then be with the cow coming out because you know none of them none of them, both of them they weren't slow. So so you know. Yeah, that horse never got left behind coming out of the yard. No. Um, and then, you know, both mares coming around the first peg and then to be get the check and then just the speed to get to get out around that cow for the second peg, you know, unbelievable. Well deserved to be uh, on top. My, my oath. Okay, Warwick, so now we've got 
Ken Bolton on with his 91 point run. Talk us through the the, the pieces of, of work and horsework and you know stockmanship that that you thought gained him the most points. Yeah, interesting. <clears throat> you watch that and and typical of how Kenny Bolton works. He, he's just a, a master of of understanding his cow as soon as he cuts it out. Like he brought up the front of the yard there and, and you could see it was, you know, like it, it just didn't want to play the game that good. It was, a, you know, a little, little doughy. And, but but he got the job done and, and then the horse has, you know, done some great work outside. Um, but again, you know, he had to be, he had to be on his game to, to get this thing round. And and that's that's what it comes down to. How important coming off the first peg where that horse just just cuddled that bullock exactly. but, but didn't didn't offend him or yep. turn him he, he down never knocked he, he never knocked him hard enough to for him to jack up he, he just he just had him there and, and and then he could just hold his horse and, and and do what he wanted to do another exciting combination to look to, forward to to the second round yes and into the final I would say if you were a betting man yes so here we have Troy Palmer on hells are coming yep one thing yeah once again we see how important these these A-grade competitors and horses are uh, of starting that run. How important was that yard when when that beast went to take Troy on right in the middle and and, and going on to his run? Yeah, and, and you know when you when you really when you look at watch that 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 mare is so quick in the yard, like she she she's electric in the yard, um, and she she's been like that. You know, that's what she was when they bought her. Um, and you know she's just so so quick in the yard, and and, and that that makes it then so much easier then to set it up to go outside. Um, and then you know again once them front gates go open and that cow runs out in in that right spot, there is probably no better course rider than Troy. Yeah. Um, and and he and he showed that again there today. That mare she she was good. She was good outside. And um, yeah she I and I I did say this to Troy only a week ago. I reckon it's taken him this time to really gel with that mare and he, he agrees like he, he said like it's the, the whole thing's starting to happen now. The second peg, a yep. little bit of work. Yep, good bit of work. Yep. Um, you know, um, it wasn't wasn't as fast as, as, as Zane's um, but you know the horsework and everything else was good. This competition people are trying to tighten the pegs up, get an extra turn in the yard, they're doing what they can because they know 383s won't win you the, no, the nutrient open draft. No, and that's exactly right. You know, the way camp drafting got today, if you, if you can't get up there and get your 22, 23 yard and your 63 or 4 outside, um, you know, yeah, you may as well tie them back up with the truck. Another combination to put a circle around? Yep, most certainly. Today's also been round one of the dry work for the Pride's Easy Feed and Navajo Trailers challenge in the indoor here at ALEC. And it's one thing we've had a little bit to do with Warwick. Yes, we have. One year, Warwick and myself judged the the challenge here that was taken out by John Templeton. Yep. Um, today, we've seen a, a new leader in the dry work with Josh Smith, Geom Hard, his four-year-old Bay Stallion. And, and again, uh, another you know positive on that he was bought you know that that been bought out of here, but he's 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 gone on and he's won Concari. Um, so like he, he he's something to to be looking at. An outstanding. He, he won Clon Curry as a three-year-old. He won the, the Nutrien Challenge at Toowoomba last year yes. as a three-year-old. Um, he also got a run in the Classic coming up. Yeah, and and again the the interesting part about him is the mare line. Joel and Julie Duff's great mare, GI yep, Jane. GI Jane. Yep. She's bred on. She has. So yeah. Quite exciting for for Joel and Julie with that, and yep. um, yeah. yeah. Not only that, today we also seen Jason Leach from Queensland come into the second spot, riding a horse called a Little Rattler. And Mark Barton caught up with Jason earlier. Well, hi again, everyone. We're at day one here at the uh, Classic. We've um, had a fantastic start with Camp Draft underway as we speak, and we've had the first round of the dry work of the uh, Classic Challenge sponsored by um, our great friends at Prides. We've uh, got a Prides Easy Feed rider here this time. We've got uh, Jason Leach, who's known in any uh, number of uh, equine disciplines, but with a, um, a superstar here in um, Little Rattler that's um, had your first time at a draft, uh, at a uh, challenge, mate, in what, how many years? 
Yeah, I reckon it'd be nearly eight or ten years since I've, I've done a challenge. Um, maybe Paradise Lagoons and Cloncurry years ago, and then I focused on the cutting. And yeah. And, and obviously, a, a horse that um, has a real um, a, a big program here at the uh, at the Classic this week. You're um, this afternoon. I think what close to ten years since you've been in a camp draft as well, and you're going to give this mare a first start. Yeah, this mare hasn't had a start. Um, I must have, I must have felt this coming because I, I had a had a start at our local draft at. Um, Mostly hills up at Springshaw the other day, and that was the first one in I know I think about six years. So um, yeah, had a good time, and, and I'm lucky enough to have had this mare the whole way through training her for the English family, all the way through the Futurity the Derby. Um, she's her first year of classics now in the in the cutting world, um, but to make room for others, um, English has gave someone a good opportunity to own a very nice mare, and um, hence we. Swap saddles real quick to see if we'd go on the challenge and win some of um, that wonderful prize money you've got up here. 